Welcome to Let's Talk Dementia, live on Facebook. I am Carol Howell, your host, internationally certified dementia practitioner, Amazon best-selling artist, and I'm glad that you've chosen to join me here today. I'm piled up on my sofa just taking it easy this morning as I talk to you about dementia and dementia caregiving. I would like to thank our sponsors, Life in the Carolinas. You can find them at www.lifeinthecarolinas.com and on YouTube, Life in the Carolinas, where it's never a bad day for a good story. Emmy nominated telly award winning television show. Also, HD Imports on Flint Street Extension in Rock Hill, South Carolina. 803 985 0985. If you own a Honda, a Hyundai, Acura, Toyota, or Kia, and you live anywhere near that wonderful part of the world, you call them for the maintenance and repair of your automobile and tell them Carol sent you. And Editor Beth. Beth Crosby at EditorBeth.com. She is an amazing copyright editor, and if you have a website and she has not looked over it, you need to get her to do that. She will give you great advice on making it even better and more effective for you. I know she's helped me a lot. Well, today I wanted to talk with you about what to say when your loved one just wants to get out of here. Get me out of here. One time my mama said, get me out of this hell hole. Well, she was living in a community that cost about... $7,850 a month. It was not a hellhole, but that's what she said. Get me out of here. I want to go home. When can we leave this place? Why am I here? Oh, all that whole genre of questions. You've heard them. People think you only hear them if, they're, if the individual with dementia lives in an assisted living or memory care, skilled nursing group home. Hmm, that's not true. They will say that standing right there in the house they have lived in for the last 20 years. What the heck is that about? Well, let me tell you about that. You need to remember that especially with Alzheimer's type dementia, excuse me, my nose is itching. Mm, this show is very real, have you noticed? <laughs> with Alzheimer's type dementia, we lose our memories in the reverse order in which we gain them. That means that you're gonna forget, or the person with dementia will forget their great grandchildren, and then they'll forget their grandchildren, and then they'll forget their children, and it just keeps going back in time. And that is also why your loved one will say, take me to mama, I wanna go home, I want to go. And when they are talking about where they want to go, it's not the home that you think about. They wanna go home to mama because mama is in the very last memories that they will lose because mama is in the very first memories that they have. So our folks with dementia, right up until their last days, even if they live through all the stages of Alzheimer's type dementia, they will remember their mama. My mama passed away on May 31st, and today is June 30th, I think that's right. And um, I know you, you'll be seeing this on July 1st. I'm actually recording it ahead of time. But um, even at the very last stages for her, she was looking for her mama. Now, I knew mama was not mama, my, my mama, when she was seeking her mother, because she called her mother, mother. But as my mama lay there in her last days, she would go, mommy, mommy. So obviously my mama was way back in time when she was a little girl. So when your loved one's telling you they want to get out of here and get me out of this hell hole, they are thinking that they are leaving to go to some other place that's not their home. I want to go home. So you say, where, where is home? Remind me again where home is. Because you don't know what stage in time they might be living. Are they living in the house that they grew up in? Maybe they're living in the house they bought when they first got married or when you were born. We don't know. So you might want to say something. Now, tell me the address of that house so I'll know how to get there. Well, you'd be surprised when that address just comes right off their lips because that's a very old memory. And if they go, oh, I don't know, my mama would say, hell if I know, when I'd say, <laughs> mama, where is your house? Hell if I know. I said, it's going to be hard to find it if you don't know what it is or where it is. And then we would giggle about it and try to change the subject. But if they can tell you, oh, my house is in Virginia, you go, oh, that's where Miss Bessie lives. Well, now in my world, Bessie's my grandmother, and that would have been my mama's mama. But I don't want to say, oh, that's where grandma lives, because my mama would be living way back in time if she was wanting to go to where Bessie lives. So I would just refer to her as Bessie as I very often refer to my mama as Vera, 
because she didn't necessarily look at me and see me as her daughter, wanted her to be comfortable. So go, oh, that's where Bessie lives. Now, Bessie was known for making the best fried apple pies. Do you think she's got any made? Oh, we're going to get on the subject of fried apple pies, y'all. I've told you before that music is not the universal language. It is food. And so we're going to talk about food. And then we're going to say, hmm, maybe before we should go to see Bessie, maybe we should go get us some lunch first. Do you want a hot lunch or a cold lunch? You want to go get a sandwich or a hamburger? You know, so we're going to take that conversation in a, a down a path that is pleasant, that's happy, that lands on the brain good and makes them feel good about life and get away from that subject of get me the hell out of here. <laughs> I do miss my mom and the funny things that she used to say. I tell you, I have to go uh, about once a day or at least once five times a week maybe onto my own website and watch the video called Vera Jean Schrittenberger. Um, makes me laugh right out loud if you haven't seen it it is on our website and it's also on youtube let's talk dementia and let's talk dementia.org you'll find it Vera Jean Scrittenberger. too funny oh my goodness well i do um want to thank our sponsors uh life in the carolinas and you can find them at lifeinthecarolinas.com hd imports located on flint street extension 803-985-0985 beth crosby at editorbeth.com and I am recording this on Sunday with the sincere hope that in my infinite knowledge, I will figure out how to schedule this to release Monday morning at 8.15, which is what I hope you're looking at right now, because I'm supposed to be in the airport at 8.15, and you know that's not going to be quiet, and this is much better. So maybe it'll work, or we just don't know right now. Y'all have a blessed day. Bye.